So Lian Li, O11 Dynamic Case Design Competition, we have our top nine finalists. You've chosen them throughout these last few weeks and you can now choose your top three. And uh, these will be, of course, the top three winners. I will get to choose as well. I'm part of the judges. So thank you, Lian Li, for picking me with me. Uh, there's also, of course, the legendary Der Bauer, which you know for his overclocking expertise in hardware content. It's amazing, of course. GGF, he makes amazing uh, content, uh, PC builds in, in his social media as well. And, of course, me too. Who is looking at the sky for no apparent reason, but alas, here I am. And, of course, it's not just the three of us who will pick. You will pick as well, and you can win prizes while at it. Prizes like the Unifan AL120 fans, this is a three pack. These are still unreleased, they should come out soon. The new Lian Li fans, and you have some merch. You have the hoodie. Ooh, I need to get one of these hoodies. I like this one. And the t shirt by Lian Li. You have the streamer. Streamer or streamer? I never quite understood. I think you have the freedom to say how, however you want. I say streamer. The streamer plus 24 plus 8 uh, pin RGB uh, cable, PSU extensions everyone asks about them every time I use them and there's actually 10 sets to 10 lucky winners so this is a very very nice prize if you vote in and win now these are our top finalists let's go through them one by one we have Tenrushin Ooh, I like these names Tenrushin author is just Mike just Mike no last name it's just Mike I like that spirit of the waves and uh, he says that water is the ultimate power on earth and and it unequivocally equals life. Okay, it's philosophical. I can dig that. And uh, how it looks, well, he really went the extra mile to make it look different. That is for sure. Lots of lots of details here. No, nothing was left unturned in this case, which I think is positive. And this front panel really is the star of the show. Of course, the side panel also has all these details and it's impossible to not notice them, but I do like the front panel. I wonder how this looks with just minimal RGB or maybe white RGB inside. It should look pretty, pretty dope. Now we have Phoenix Gamer. Phoenix Gamer by Supercop101. Okay, Supercop, don't arrest me, it's like Robocop. Supercop. And okay, his design idea. He wanted to make something cool and attractive to catch the eyes and look epic as a PC case. Well, don't we all, my friend? Don't we all? Let me see what you made. Okay, this is a Phoenix Gamer. Okay, that Phoenix, of course. Of course, it's a Phoenix. It's Phoenix Gamer. And he went a bit all out on the, this side of, of the case. Of course, the front of the case, just a, a little bit more discreet, and even the side panel is a bit more discreet. And he also added some details in green on top and yeah it's a bit more discreet uh, if you like that green tone could be interesting of course the dxl dynamics xl has that uh, led rgb on the front so of course he used the, the green one next we have digital revolution by catadoto okay i like this i like this Ooh, this would work amazing if it was imagine this with argb all of these LED strips with ARGB. And I can see that the design uh, is based on a circuit board, of course, and I do think it looks really nice. I like the fact that it's uh, orange and red with the black. I think it's it looks really... Oh, there we go. The Lian Li logo. Okay, I hadn't noticed at first. It really does complement it really nicely. I like this. I like this. The fact that the side panel is, uh, of course, see-through. It's uh, tempered glass, but you can actually... Uh, incorporate the design and still get a nice uh, glimpse at what's inside and of course he he shows a, a mock-up of what it would look like inside with Lian Li fans and the RGB next up is keep out Ooh, what a nice name author is LVX and what he says is that he tried many different designs and settled on this one so it, it better be good my friend he went for monster demonstrated by two bright red eyes lurking behind some pieces of splintered wood very nice Ooh, i see oh i see the monster Ooh, I, I can imagine the monster being a metaphorical a way to to say that my cable management sucks this is why i use the o11 dynamic xl to hide it in this side panel Ooh, keep out he definitely does not want anyone anywhere near his pc i can respect that as well i don't want anyone near my pc 
And our next entry is 110 miles per hour by DJ. Seems to be a racing enthusiast and uh, it's also a wordplay for O11, so that's pretty cool. And he says his design has an elegant finish and black stripes inspired by luxury sports cars and blazing speeds. And we all want blazing speeds, uh, frames per second, if possible. I can see he did not do anything on the side panel. Uh, and so went to, oh, there's a detail here with a, an LED screen, I'm guessing, it's a, or maybe it's just a, a tag with, with the name of the, of his design. The gold, of course, a lot of people like these gold tones. A lot of uh, components have been made lately with, with gold tones. So a lot of them look really good, actually. I like how the side panel is really, it, it's, it's impressive. It, it really stands out like, hey, I'm here, I'm gold, look at me. Next we have Serenity by Galupko. And okay, these are the cherry blossoms a lot of people love, that sacro pink. It's uh, an original work by Russian artist Polina Golutko. Okay, this is really cool. Just for this competition, so. Oh yeah, that's special, that's really nice. And the idea is that despite the fact that the concept includes only two drawings, it tells a story that everyone should read for themselves. Okay, so there's a lot behind the design. These, of course, Japanese, uh, Japanese tones, Japanese themes. And I do like these details in the front panel with the samurai sword and the cherry blossoms. I'm not sure if the, 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 the colors of the samurai work with the overall theme though, but this of course is, is, is all about taste and uh, taste is subjective. Now, tactical military edition. Okay, military edition by Pixel Wave. And uh, it's born out of, of the idea to, to include a desert camouflage inspired design. Okay, let me see. Oh, he's an AK. Is this an AK? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, on this side of the case. Oh, the top two-tone. Oh, I like the details inside. Okay, so it would change uh, the entire color scheme of the case to complement what's outside. And I do like the, the uh, how it was implemented. Even though uh, camouflage is not something that I, I personally particularly tend to like, I like uh, how it was uh, implemented in this case, and I can definitely respect that. Now, the sea. This is a song, isn't it? Somewhere. Over the sea. It, was it over the sea? Oh, maybe not. Uh, and it's by Japan Tomato. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah, there's a very famous uh, piece of artwork, uh, Japanese artwork that uh, is this, these waves. I forgot the name, but it's, it's super, super famous. And of course, it's based on that. And the author says, the sea has the immense love for video games and the incredible amount of video games that can be played. Oh, yes. Oh, my Steam account is full of games that I own but do not play uh, yours is probably as well sometimes the sea is calm like a game you play relaxed on sunday other times it is violent and stormy like the most demanding games that require all your energy or all your hardware okay i like that <laughs> i can i can uh, appreciate this reference the red leon lee logo i personally do not think it complements the design too well but of course, again, a taste is subjective and there's one up top as well. I would have liked to see this maybe in a blue and white. I think it would look even better. And the last one, De Vito by Dantney. Dantney. Let's see. What Dantney says it's, is that this is a result of an ongoing imagination of steampunk world and a current modernized technology and gadgets. Okay, okay. So a lot of gadgets, uh, very steampunky, of course, the clocks. Why do steampunks love clocks so much? I'll never get it. Okay. <laughs> you can tell that I'm not much of a steampunk person at all, but uh, yeah, the implementation looks good. It's not uh, overly done like some uh, steampunk designs I've seen in the past where there's, there's just years everywhere and it really overloads the design. I think this one does not uh, the side is uh, mostly black of course that circuit uh, board uh, tones with with the gold up top as well is the same in the front of course gears and uh, i can see this it, it it there's a sense of continuity from the 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 front to the sides to the other side to up top and i think this is what makes this design interesting nice one so we just checked the nine finalists and now you can choose your favorite. 
you can vote on Yan Li's website. That I'll leave somewhere in this description. You can just go to Google and write Lian Li. Why are you so lazy? And you can vote, you can win some cool awards and uh, contribute to, to show that uh, uh, being able to create uh, your own case, your own PC, your own experience really is what being PCMR or being a PC enthusiast is all about. So may your frame rates be high, your temperatures low and stay safe.